So hello friends welcome to my new video. So today in this video we are going to see how application tonometry is performed to measure the intraocular pressure of the eye. Okay. So in my previous video on tonometry I discussed that the application tonometry is based on Imbert Fick principle which state that pressure inside a thin wall sphere is equal to pre uh, force necessary to flatten the surface divided by the area of flattening that means B is equal to F by A. So uh, this Goldman application tonometry is the gold standard method to measure the uh, intraocular pressure of the eye. So previously Shio's tonometer that is indentation tonometer was used but it was a very old method to measure the IOP and there is many errors also there uh, which include mechanical errors uh, also. So uh, in Goldman ablation tonometry we don't need to indent the uh, probe of the tonometer okay just we need to touch and see the Myers okay. So let's see how it is done and how it is how hard is the procedure okay. So in this video, this examiner will show us how to measure the IOP by using application tonometry. So this is a demo eye where he will uh, show us a trial how to place the tonometer uh, probe properly on the patient eye. So uh, before starting the procedure, we need to make some adjustment of the slit length that the uh, angle between the illumination system and the observation should, should be uh, 90 degree. And before proceeding to uh, the IOP measurement, don't forget to stain the patient with fluorescent dye. And after that, move the application tonometer in front of the patient eye and then look from the bio microscope that the bi prism is visible or not okay so uh, make some adjustment that he is making some adjustment after that he just switch on the slit lamp and turning on the cobalt blue filter okay so in cobalt blue filter the fluorescent dye will appear uh, greenish in color and after that uh, make the pro uh, probe in front of the patient center of the uh, pupil okay and after that um, move the slit lamp slowly towards the patient eye and when the probe and the patient and the probe and the patient uh, distance will be 3 mm or 5 mm then slowly move the joystick okay don't move the slit limb just move the joystick to uh, forward okay so that the probe will touch the patient uh, cornea and then uh, observe it uh, through the bio microscope and when uh, there will be two semicircle Myers will appear that is that will be greenish in color and remember the two semicircle Myers inner edge should touch to each other okay and at that time uh, see the reading that at what reading the Myers are touching okay uh, so there is many lines are uh, drawn that 1 to 2, 2 to 3 like this. So uh, suppose you get 1.5 then multiply it by 10. That means the IOP will be 15 mm of Hg. This is how IOP is measured. Okay. So that's all friends. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.